Hello, my name is Michael Boyajan, and, and uh, I just released a new book uh, with my late wife, Jerry Wagner, uh, about uh, connecting our house to the Underground Railroad. And I described the process and the problems with the process uh, in a previous video and in detail in the book itself. The title of the book is uh, More Than Likely Underground Railroad Station Fishkill uh subtitle 12 robinson street which is our home and uh we had been working researching this book for 10 years put, picking it up putting it down picking it up putting it down uh you know going to the fdr library uh for an event uh, where they had the national park service underground railroad division uh have a, uh, the director speaking about the Underground Railroad and the details about how it operates and stuff and, uh, you know, many other FDR functions regarding slavery and the Underground Railroad. And this year they had the fantastic uh, civil rights uh, uh, exhibition during uh, FDR's presidential term and uh, fantastic. And, I, you know, I never thought when I went to that show uh, earlier this year when there were forest fires burning, uh, I, re I remember that because I wore a mask. I was the only person wearing a mask. I don't know how anyone was breathing there with all that smoke, but they, uh, it was the first time I'd been out in a long time since my wife passed away. Uh, I didn't get out much. She passed away uh, September 14th, 2020. And um, I pretty much, uh, uh, between that and COVID, uh, just like <laughs> disappeared into my house for a few years. And I think that was my first time out in public was going to the... Uh, FDR Museum and Library to see that exhibition. And in any event, um, so there were many things connecting the dots. And earlier this year, I was going around taking photographs of a lot of the uh, uh, relevant uh, sites in uh, the Mid-Hudson Valley uh, related to the Underground Railroad and slavery and other uh, African-American civil rights issues. And, uh, uh, you know, I, along the way, I came into contact with the uh, Fishkill Town historian, Arnold Festivo, and uh, talking about the African-American burial ground here in Fishkill. Uh, and he was saying, I kept saying, well, you should try this. He goes, oh, we're doing that. We're doing that. We're doing that. We're doing that. He's doing, he had a checklist a mile long. And yesterday and today I drove by there and boy, I had to do a double take. He got a lot of work done since I was there in June. In fact, in the book, I have a picture up of what it looked like in June uh, and what it looks like today, even though it was a, a cloudy December day uh, compared to June, a sunny June day. You can really tell that he spruced that place up. And that's just the tip of the iceberg of what he has planned for that uh, historic African-American burial ground. And uh, the monuments look polished up. Many of the headstones are upright. Uh, he's cleared out a lot of the brush. And everything looks well manicured now, uh, but he's got a lot of more work to go uh, based on what he told me about his checklist. But he's done a terrific job uh, to date. And if you get a chance, drop by there now. Take a look. And the, mild, the weather's mild, which isn't a good thing with climate change. But anyhow, um, enjoy it. <laughs> but um, the uh, good news I want to share with you is that the book uh, uh, has been reported on Book Life as reaching um, in the Kindle store number five in the category of African-American books. And that's big news. And again, the title of the book is more than likely uh, Underground Railroad Station Fishkill, subtitle 12 Robinson Street. Uh, I hope you enjoy the book. It's free on Kindle to, from today, December 30th through to Wednesday, January 3rd, 2024. So let's have a very happy and uh, wonderful t uh, 2024. And as Obama said this time, let's sit down and all have a beer together. And in the words of Ringo Starr, peace and love, everyone. Enjoy the new year.